Hi, hello. So I made a post on my community tab thing saying, do you guys want me to talk about the mobile games that I play? And you guys said yes, so I'm gonna make a video about it. I did record a video before where I just explained the games and gave a list, but I thought that that wasn't entertaining enough, so I decided I'm going to make a tier list. The Mystic Messenger is on this list, and I know 90% of people have already played that. If you're on my channel, that's probably why you're here. So, uh, that's going to... Uh, I... Y'all will kill me if I only put that A, so it's gonna go S tier. And the only reason I was even thinking of putting it A is because I haven't played it in a while. I think if I replayed Mystic Messenger, it would go back up to S tier. I love the format of Mystic Messenger. I don't think any other games have a simul s similar? similar type of playing style as Mystic Messenger. I think the game design where you get chats and it lasts a week and you get a full like route, I really like that game style. I also like the fact that there's no gacha in it because gacha like kills me in game. So the rest of these I'm gonna do in order of where they are on the thing down here. I'm gonna start with uh, First Love Story or My First Love. This, I love this game so much and I'm not fully done with all of it. I'm gonna be honest, but I've played one route and I am completely in love with it. I'm not gonna play all the routes, I'm gonna be honest. Cause in this game, you get, there, there's four characters. There's two guys and two girls, and there's, I think, four routes, four or five. I'm playing both the Yuri and Yaoi route, and uh, I hate the terms Yuri and Yaoi, I'm sorry. But anyways, so I'm playing those two routes. I don't think I'm gonna play the Tomi routes because I have such an attachment to the uh, couple of two guys, and I don't think I wanna see them with other people, so. And I know that that's such a stupid reason not to play it, but like, I don't want to see them with other characters. I do think, out of all of the games I've played where it's like a gay romance, this is handled so well, and I, th there's like, there's a part, I don't want to spoil it, but it's actually such a wholesome story, and I genuinely love it. I think this is going to go A tier for me. And you can play it through without paying anything. They give you gems. I think the only part that makes you wait is you have to gain like trust and stuff and you play a mini game for that and I think it's just such a good game like I can't uh yeah so I, 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 this is going A tier for me maybe S <laughs> I'm genuinely thinking of putting it S tier it's just such a good game it's like such a wholesome good game and uh I'm putting that S tier I can't like not next we're gonna go Amnesia I, I'm gonna end up putting so many of these games really high. I think the only reason I'm gonna put Amnesia slightly lower, actually, is because I don't- I haven't played the mobile version. This is for mobile games. Uh, you may have to pay to play Amnesia on your phone, so that's why I'm putting it on A tier. I haven't played it on mobile, I don't know it's, how it works, but the game itself is amazing. If you can get it on your phone, I do suggest it, but I don't know how it works for mobile. So that's why I'm putting it A tier. I don't know if it's free to play, so that's why I'm putting it lower. Amnesia also has an anime if you want to watch that, and you, if you can't pay for Amnesia and you want to watch the anime, the anime is really good, actually. Next, we're going Iki Vamp. Um, I know that there's Iki Sengoku. There's another one. There's like a whole series of these games. Uh, I've only played like one route of this, and I actually have not played it through. Cause I did, it's it's good, but I did lose interest after they got together a little bit. I'm not gonna say it's bad. I do like it. I'm gonna put it B. Y'all may be upset with me for putting a couple games lower, um, but I do, I, I like this game. I love it. I'm excited to play more of it, but I'm putting this game lower. Queen's Number. I played this in a day. I still have not gotten a good ending though. I got like the normal ending. The thing is, if you play this, you can get through to the end in a day, but you do need to gain gems and gain stuff to get a good ending, because you need to like pay attention to the, how much intimacy you have with all the characters. I would give this game just for plot. Uh, 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 I'm putting it. I can't put it above a B. It's not like the plot is amazing. I do. There is. I don't think it. If I'm gonna put it in B. I want to put it in uh, Vampire lower. Like I genuinely suggest this game. I'm, I haven't played a good ending yet though, so 
And I, I think the one drawback I have with this game is this game and then another one on this list. There's a good end and then the rest of it, you eat, there's little plot points that go like into, the, like there's little branches. The reason this is up higher than the other game that does this is I genuinely have an interest in all of these characters, except maybe one. Uh, the other game, I don't, I'm not as interested in every character. Mayday Memory. For now, I, I haven't played this a lot. I've played like three or four days of this. So this may go up higher. I'm putting this in like a C for right now. Obey me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. If you want to know why I'm putting it this low, I could make a whole video on this. Um, I don't like... I love like two characters from this game and then I just... I think a big reason why I stopped like in this game, I've played all of it. They want you to spend money on this. Like there was a, an event recently where you had to spend a certain amount of money to get a card and it's like, it, they're not good to the free-to-play players, and I just don't like that. So, uh, that's why I'm putting it that low. If you want a whole video on this, I could probably rant about it, but I'm putting this game low because of that. Mr. Love is going all the way up to S tier. I have so, like, I love Mr. Love so much. It's so bad how much, like, <laughs> me eyes so bad. Um, this is not sponsored at all. I've never been sponsored by this game. If I was, it would be amazing. <laughs> but, um, I think Mr. Love just has such amazing characters. I could, I, I could literally make a whole video on how much I love this game. Um, it has such amazing characters. The layout of this game is so great. Like, the fact that the main story just has so much to it, and then the dates being in the cards, I love so much compared to other s games where the cards just aren't as, like, worth getting, I guess. The art is beautiful. I love the art so much. And did I mention the characters are, like, very in-depth? And, it like, at the beginning, they aren't as much, but then you get... They, they get more and more in-depth as the story continues on, and I just love them all so much. Like, I my favorite kind of switched over and over again. And I mean, it came back to Kiro was my favorite in the beginning, and then he's my favorite at the end now. The difference between my favorite character and my least favorite character is so, so small. Like, I can't say I dislike any character in that game. Do I dislike any character in that game? And Mr. Love is coming out with an anime if you want to watch that. And I think another thing I genuinely love about this game, and this is the difference between why something's S tier and why something's like a D tier, is because the how good they are to free-to-play players. Uh, also, that's why A3 is going up really high, is because it's so... There was an instance in A3 where people abused this glitch in the game, and then even after people abused the glitch in the game and they had to spend so long on maintenance, they still gave away gems. They, they gave gems and stuff for being away on maintenance. Like, they are so good to their players, and, uh, I just... I appreciate games that are good to their players. There's also an A3 anime if you want to watch the anime and then see if you like the storyline and then get into the game. Dangerous Follows I am putting lower than B tier because it's the same as um, Queen's Number and Dangerous Fellows both have that storyline where there's a main story and then there's little... With Dangerous Fellows I just wasn't as, as interested in like half the characters but with queen's number there's like four characters and a three out of four i was genuinely interested in. afterlife has the same vas actually as some of the mystic messenger characters by the way so y'all may like that game i genuinely like the characters i've not played much of it i i love the gameplay in it though i did stop playing after a while because i'm very bad at keeping up with games but i genuinely do like the characters in it. I know was my favorite, which is ironic though because 707 and Noah have the same BA.